Hi all, Planticide Agent here. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, show you my uh, cook kit based around a canister gas stove. And um, so I'll get right to it. Um, yeah, I just previously reviewed uh, another cook kit I built around, uh, to, again, uh, around an alcohol stove. And these are the 750 milliliter titanium pots. Um, the first one, the alcohol one, happens to be a Tox. This one is a Tom Shu um, titanium pot. Very similar. Anyway, uh, it comes in a nice stuff sack, like uh, most of them. And it, this this particular pot does is very similar to the Tox, which some of you might be familiar with. It has a little a little grabber here that uh, stand that will lock up and. Um, so, what I wanted with this kit is I, I, I wanted, uh, I like the alcohol setup, but I also wanted a gas canister one, especially since they make the really small, um, tiny uh, uh, gas burners. So I was looking around, uh, which all of that fit nicely in the 750 milliliter pot, but I was also looking for a cup to go with it because I don't like drinking out of metal cups because... Uh, one, they cool off too quick, and I like my hot liquids really hot and like them to stay hot. And uh, they also can burn your lips unless you get some kind of a secondary lip guard, which is one more thing to have. So anyway, I did uh, go online. I guess we'll start with the cup. And uh, found this uh, silicon, collapsible silicon cup. And uh, it uh, holds uh, 355 milliliters or 12 ounces of... Uh, of liquid and it's collapsible and the other nice thing about it is I can store the burner the tiny BSR I think it's one of the brands uh, gas burners in the, in the cup itself which is really nice so I'll show you the burner in a minute when I set it up well let's go over the cup now it's collapsible it, you can see it's not very uh, what is it height wise it's uh, barely an inch, so it collapses down small, so it will fit inside the, yeah, it looks like about a, uh, an inch and, just shy of an inch and a half, inch and three-eighths. Well, if you add that on, it would definitely be an inch and three-eighths, but uh, anyway, um, it opens up nicely. It's very, very stable, has a little plastic ring here, so it, it gives it some rigidity and you can hold it. I haven't really used it yet. Another nice thing about this one, it does have markings on the inside from uh, 8 ounces to 12 ounces. It's got uh, 237, 296, and 355 milliliter lines in here, so which is kind of nice. So I think that's going to should keep my drink a little bit warmer and I can always throw the lid on it so between drinks I won't uh, rapidly cool off. So that was uh, what I was looking for to complete this kit because I kind of put this kit together but I was just waiting to find out what kind of a if I could find a separate cup that would collapse and fold inside or whether I was going to have to store the the kit the cup outside of the kit so I'm really happy with this cup say I bought it on eBay came with free shipping uh, and um, I think it was $7.39 with free shipping at the same time I was looking for looking at collapsible cups uh, I did find uh, this one very similar, but as actually I don't think it's quite as nice. Holds the same amount of liquids. It uh, sets a little bit higher than this one. The lid's a little bit bulkier, and you can see there would be no room to store much inside it either. So, and uh, when it expands out, you can see it it sets a little bit higher, and it's not as not as wide. So I think this is a much better cup for. Uh, for this sort of thing, although there's you know nothing really wrong with this one, you could use it, throw in a different kind of kit if you were building kits around it. This one, by the way, was cheaper, uh, but like I say, it would it wouldn't it wouldn't work in my kit at all. But this one was uh, where's my price? Uh, Four ninety nine from uh, again on eBay with free shipping. So yeah, I've been looking for collapsible cups. I did uh, get. One of these, they were they were pretty cheap, a few bucks. Uh, these Wildo uh, collapsible cups, but this one's just way too big to 
to be used in any of these kits. So I did stick it inside one of my uh, bottle bag kits. It works fine in there. So anyway, let's uh, press on inside this kit. Similar, very well, almost sim very similar contents to my other um, kit. Uh, I've got a little packet of sugar, which I like to uh, just use a, a touch of it just to bring out the orange in this my favorite outdoor tea, which is uh, Bigelow's uh, Constant Comet. Comment. <laughs> uh, it has some orange rind, and the sugar kind of brings the flavor out. Otherwise, I don't like too much because I usually drink all my uh, coffee and tea black. That's that. And then I have room for uh, in here for a mini Bic lighter. The only difference in this kit is uh, there's no room in it to put my favorite uh, waterproof matches, but you know, you got to make sacrifices sometimes. But anyway, nice thing about it. Okay, and then we got the uh, oops out this is the uh, an aluminum foil windscreen for around the stove which i'll discuss in a minute and uh, then i've just got the uh, the small uh, this one's uh, the small uh, gas canister which fits perfectly inside this uh, cook pot like i said the 750 milliliter and in the very bottom i have this is a uh, craft foam pad i got at the dollar store cut it out so with to fit inside the uh, cook pot to store in there and also big enough to sit for the uh, stove to completely sit on it now the reason i use a wind a, uh, a pad for the uh, stove is that they uh, it insulates the stove or the canister from the ground because the canisters are susceptible to the cold their performance goes down the colder the canister gets to you go down to certain temperatures, it probably won't really work at all. So, because the uh, the gas inside the canister has to, uh, uh, well, it's a liquid it has to has turned into vapors so that they work in the stove. So, you want to insulate it from the ground, and this weighs nothing. It was cheap, and it it will insulate the stove from the ground. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put this together real quick. But these are those little, uh, I should do this on screen, shouldn't I? Okay, these great little uh, gas stoves. Yeah, come on, there we go. And, oops, there we go. Flip these wings out. There we go, and it's, uh, I like this stove because it has a, it'll hold a wide variety of pots. I've seen some of them where the pot stands uh, barely will fit these uh, smaller size pots. But anyway, this one just spins on. The nice thing about the uh, these gas canister stoves is they're really no muss, no fuss. They fire right up. Yada yada, no priming and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, so uh, there it is now for a wind. Now. I have a windscreen on this, and I'm a windscreen person for all my stoves because, you know, with the wind, uh, can blow through and then rob heat from the stove and, you know, makes your burn time longer, which means you use more fuel, and that fuel comes in on your back and, and comes out of your wallet, so you definitely don't want to waste any more than you have to. Um, now, they, I see a lot of people on videos with these type of stoves with no windscreen. Uh, some of them are supposedly designed for good wind performance, but you're still robbing heat as that blows through. And I think they don't recommend windscreens because, you know, if, if these canisters got too hot, you could, uh, you could it'd be dangerous. It could be dangerous. But I, for these kind of stoves, I don't know if you look at my, if you looked at my video for the alcohol stove, I actually use a Foster's beer can as the windscreen but that's that's not as dangerous when it's a little bit more confined but i wouldn't use it on this type of stove because it would be too confined and you could overheat the the canister now the plus side let me now i i make my um, windscreens and of aluminum foil it's light it's cheap it's compact so it fits in the kit you know it slides in between the the stove and the in the pot very nicely so I just unfold it 
use my thigh to kind of form it into a, a ring. There you go. And then pot on top and you got your, your windscreen. Now, see now this windscreen's nice and wide so you're it's not gonna get overly hot in here and and overheat your stove, but it will give you wind protection once you put it into the wind. And the nice thing about this windscreen is it will trap a little heat in here, in around the stove, so it will help your cold weather performance. Now, uh, I haven't tested this kit or stove out yet in the field. I probably will do it my next ski trip. Take it on it and give it a whirl, uh, this setup. Uh, but I have, uh, the my main stove for years was an old Bluette uh, 200, I think 260 is the other name, uh, canister stove. And uh, I always used a, a windscreen with that. In fact, the first time I used the stove, I didn't have a windscreen and it took forever to heat up my water. So uh, I went ahead right away and built a windscreen out of aluminum foil and it worked great ever since and I've used it with no problem because again, I give it a little bit of room for wind protect uh, so it can get some air in, in for the stove and it won't overheat the canister. The, the advantage of it did I already tell you that? <laughs> it will heat the, yeah, it heats the performance. But I've uh, I've used uh, that old Bluette stove uh, out skiing in the wintertime, you know, cold temperatures, uh, with no problem for decades. That's decades, not years. <laughs> so it works just fine. And like I said, there's, I, I don't, why people won't, you know, just take a little bit of aluminum foil with them for, to help the, like I said, it helps the uh, cold, colder weather performance and also blocks the wind, which is going to help your boil time performance. So um, this particular one, now that I look at it, uh, it's a little low, just barely covers the burner. I think um, I'm going to uh, make this one a little bit bigger and just maybe a little bit higher so it uh, forms. The other thing, too, is it keeps the heat coming and up and, a, a, up and around the stove as it, as it exits the the windscreen, the heat will come up and up around the side, which will probably help boiling performance. Where if you just have it out here in the elements and the wind's, you know, whipping by, you know, it's just robbing all the heat away from your stove, so you're only getting what's actually hitting on the on the bottom. So, uh, not a good a performance. It's probably, I don't know, I don't know if it's measurable or not, but that's that's the way I do it. So, <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, that's my uh, gas canister gas uh, stove kit oh one more comment i was gonna make real quick uh forgot on the other one too the nice thing about having these stuff sacks you know just keeping everything together when you do uh go to set up a camp it's a good place to stick all your extra items so that do you know they won't get lost or blown away so with the stuff you know the stuff you're not using when you're doing your cooking so it's just a nice nice to have a little bag to keep your stuff so you don't spread it out and uh, get it lost so Anyway, that's it for this kit. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.